What is happening everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. Today, we've got new knives. New knives for this week leading up to Blade Show Texas. Let's light it up. So as you can see, we've gotten a little bit more decorating done on our brand new set. Um, it's coming along nicely. This is going to be a dual purpose set, so we're going to use this for here as well as our sister store, Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo. You can see the mountains that I painted in the background. Don't make too much fun of me. It doesn't look like a third grader did them. Might, maybe. Job. Maybe it did. Yeah, Greg's been giving me a hard enough time. Also got our logo right up here. We've got some knives in the case. These are all knives from my collection right there in the case. Some knives from my childhood, some knives that are newer ones. I actually got my first case knife in the case. What's in the case? And um, got some of our coins right there, challenge coins. Welcome to the nut house. Um, that's where we're at, folks. So we've got our little workbench set up over here uh, with our Work Sharp sharpener. Love the folks at Work Sharp. And guess what? There's going to be something new coming very soon. I'm not supposed to say anything. So, you guys, just so you know, there's something new and really big and really awesome coming very soon. We're going to have one on our hands very soon so that we can do a demonstration for you. Now, like I said, new knives for this week. This is something different for us. We've never done a show like this. So, new knives for this week. Um, and we've got a lot of new stuff to get to on the table. Some really cool stuff. Some stuff that uh, we're actually getting before anybody else. Really excited about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some stuff that you guys have been really excited about online that we've got in store now. So, here we go. First up, the one that you already know about, you've seen the promo for. We had a lot of fun shooting this out at my farm. This was a lot of fun um, going on that quest to find our brand new and last of this series, Spyderco exclusive right here for SMKW. The Lava Flow Satin Blade, CPM M4 on the blade steel. You know it, you love it. It's a great knife. And like I said, you, you've seen the promo for it already. This one is now in store and ready to go. Now, this one we are releasing on Friday, the 17th, 10 a.m. Eastern. We're gonna take a look at that one up close. Yeah, give you guys a look. Now, like I said, we've already, we've already shown this one, we've already done all the specs, so we're not gonna go through all that. But that one is here. We are also, so this uh, is actually leading up to uh, Blade Show Texas. We're about to be heading out uh, in just a few days, heading down to Texas. We're gonna have 50 of these with us in Texas. So you guys are gonna have a chance if you're gonna be coming by Blade Show Texas, come by the booth, you're gonna have a chance at one of these. We've got, like I said, 50 of them that we're gonna have in Texas. If we're sold out of them by the time you get to us, there will be some online as well here at the store. Now, some other cool stuff. A new brand that we are now carrying here at Smoky Mountain Knife Works because we listen to you guys. We know you guys have been asking for this one for a long time. We've been really excited about this. Chavez Knives. That's right. We've got a couple of them here. These are our first two. We've only got a limited amount of these, but we're really excited to be carrying Chavez now. And uh, let's take a look at these up close and uh, go through the specs on these right here. Uh, first, we're going to go with the Tonto. I'm going to move that drop point out of the way right there. Look at how gorgeous that is. Look at that grind work. I mean, this is just classy right there. Coming in at 345, this is going to be the Chavez Redencian. Redencian? Redencian. Sure. Yeah, we'll go with that. Street Frame Lock Tonto. RT. Now, this is the Chavez Knives Redentian Street Frame Lock Features. It's Bowler M390 steel. Um, so it's 4.59 inches closed, weighs in at 5.7 ounces. Um, we're talking titanium on the handle material. It is a frame lock. And then, of course, the pocket clip right there that you know and love from Chavez. Now, this is actually going to come with a straight pocket clip as well if you want something uh, a little less conspicuous. But these are really, really cool pocket clips. Like, that is, I mean, that's why you get a Chavez right there is for that pocket clip, I think. That's just me. But um, Ambi Thumb Studs, beautiful, beautiful EDC knife right there. And coming in, I mean, for the quality that you get right here, um, I think that's a phenomenal price right there. And uh, this was a special collaboration with V8. So you know it's good quality. You know it's made well. Check these out. Like I said, those are coming in at 345 
We've got it in the Tonto, and we've got it in the drop point right here. Specs are going to be the same, and again, beautiful grind work. I love the compound grinds on these. You can see all the way right out there, um, those compound grinds, and these Reade does a phenomenal, phenomenal job with that. Uh, again, with a great action there, and a great lockup. Beautiful knives from Chavez. We're really excited to have those in stock, ready to rock. So, now we're going to move on to something a little bit different. Um, we're actually going to move to a new tool that we've got in, and that is going to be our Marbles Woodsman Wedgie right here. This one was done in collaboration with Dave Canterbury. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to say, and this is, this is going to be something uh, a little interesting, a little different. Um, I want to explain to you what this is. So this is a block of 6000 series aluminum um, that has been precision milled for a specific purpose. We're going to take a look at this up close. I'm going to show you guys what this is all about. So you've got the Marbles Woodsman Wedge right here. This thing's super cool. So this is going to serve a lot of purposes. And a lot of people are going to say, well, why, why would you do something like that? Why don't you just carry an axe? So this is actually going to serve as a wood splitter, log splitter, but it's also going to serve a lot more purposes than that. It's also going to act as a wedge. You can use that in a lot of different ways. Um, and what this is going to be good for is if maybe you're backpacking, maybe you're hiking, maybe you don't want, like, when you get into a situation like that, ounces equal pounds. We talk about it all the time and you want to decrease the amount of weight that you're carrying in your pack, um, that you're packing out uh, as much as possible. And this is a tool that's going to allow you to do that. So you can carry this, like I said, it's aluminum, so it's very lightweight. Uh, let me see if we've got a weight on this. We don't have a weight on this just yet, but I'm going to go ahead and say it weighs just a little bit more than this spider coat with carbon fiber handles, if that tells you anything right there. Uh, it weighs about the same as my cell phone. About the same as my, cell, my iPhone 13 Pro right there. So, um, very lightweight and gonna be easy to pack without a handle. Now here's the cool thing. This hole right here, you can see right there that it is threaded. So it's gonna be really easy to whittle down a stick and these are very, um, fairly sharp threads. So it's gonna be easy to thread a stick into that so that you can use it as such, have a handle on it, and then take the handle off, or you can just use it as a wedge, and then just hammer it down through um, whatever, you, you know, if you're splitting a log, something like that. That's not all this does, though. Um, you can have a lot of uses for a wedge, but also there's a bow drill divot in both sides of that as well. So this is going to come in handy building your fire as well after you get your wood split and get everything processed and ready to go. So this is going to help you processing. Um, the milling right here on the two side faces are going to be good for gripping wood. Um, this thing is going to come in really handy. And again, it's going to be a great tool if you're trying to lighten your pack, lighten your load, and you don't want to pack out an axe if you're going on a long journey. Say you're hiking the AT or something like that. Um, this is going to be an invaluable tool right there. Uh, and like I said, this is one that uh, we did in collaboration with Dave Canterbury. This one's coming in at $24.99. $24.99. We've got this branded under our Marbles brand. So check those out. We are going to be taking this one. This one is actually um, ours here in the department. We're going to be taking this one out into the field and doing some demonstrations with, the, with it um, and showing you just how useful this tool can be. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be coming up very soon as well. Also, We've got some new Rough Riders from our Rough Rider Reserve series. Um, so we've got the new humpbacks coming in from our Rough Rider Reserve series. Let's take a look at these right here. Um, and these are absolutely gorgeous. A lot of people have been talking about these online and wanting to know the actual size. Some people have said, oh, well, that blade to handle ratio looked kind of wonky. There's not a lot of blade or there's too much blade. There's been people going back and forth and, and saying a lot of... Um, uh, well, I'm just going to say uh, conflicting things without having it in hand. Um, but now they're available. Now we can see them in hand. Um, and it's difficult, even when you do have it in hand, um, to know the measurements uh, and, and understand what that means, really. So 
on the D2 blade steel one, $89.99 on the Damascus steel one. And that is true Damascus right there. So we're gonna take a look at these up close right here. And they barely fit in frame right there. Those are, uh, those are fairly large right there. So this is the Rough Rider Reserve D2 and Damascus humpback jack right there. Now these are coming in with the three and a half inch D2 or Damascus steel blade, three and a half inches, five inches closed, weighs just 4.3 ounces, coming in with that brown burlap micarta on the handles, single end on the bolsters right there, got the humpback, got the bomb shield, nickel silver on the uh, shield as well as the pins, brass liners, and a beautiful, beautiful walk and talk. I'm gonna give that one right there uh, about a six, six and a half. That's what that one feels like to me. I don't even know what that means. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, honestly, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say I think a lot of those numbers are made up because um, there is no official reference to go by those. So I'm just making that up as I go along just like everybody else does. Um, but absolutely beautiful knives, uh, especially with that brown burlap micarta. I think these are super classy. Really excited to have those. Not only do we have those in stock, but we also have the Sabak in stock. The Sabak in stock. The Sabak in stock. What is this? The Damascus. Oh. It's 1065 and T10. Oh, that's a good that's a good one. 1065 and T10. So if you're wondering what the Damascus is on that Damascus blade steel, that's 1065 and T10 carbon steel, um, making up that Damascus right there. That's really cool. That's a, that's a cool combination of blade steel. Now we've also got the Sabak. This thing is gorgeous, and uh, a lot of people have really been digging on this one. Um, I'm loving this one as well. I love the shape. Um, and Greg and I were talking about this earlier today. I love knives that are just obnoxious. Um, and this kind of falls in that category for me. Um, so it's useful, yes, but it's also like just big. It's just big, and I love it. I think it's fantastic. Coming in at $64.99, that's gonna be D2 tool steel on that four and a half inch blade right there, clip point blade. Got burgundy micarta on the handles, nickel silver on the pins, and the uh, shield right there, brass liners. We've got black micarta, also nickel silver on that spacer right there, going between the burgundy and the black micarta. So, absolutely beautiful pinch bolsters. Love that as well. I think that looks really classic and really classy. Now, it does have a nail nick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say for me anyways, I don't even touch the nail nick. I mean, yeah, I'm, my, I'm not going to use it as a nail nick. There's so much of this blade there that it's just so easy to just grab the blade. And that's, that's going to be how I, how I do this. Um, you can do it however you want to. It's just not the end all be all or anything. But beautiful knife. I know you guys are excited to see that. We've got one more knife, well actually nine more to get to on the table, but they're all just different variations of the same knife and we're really excited about this. So, everyone knows about a, a little over a year, a year and three months ago, we put out a video on the Re8XO. We were one of the first ones to show it off and uh, the thing took off, it was insanely popular. The only cons that people brought up online where they wish it had a pocket clip, they wish it had a lock. So as many of you have seen, Re8 and Jerry went back, redesigned it, made it a little bit smaller, put a lock on it, put a pocket clip on it. We've got them in stock now. Now we've got nine different versions of this. Three different handle materials or handle inlays and then three different blade shapes for each handle material. So let's take a look at these up close and we're gonna go over the specs on these. Now, all of these are coming in at 285, and phenomenal, phenomenal fit and finish. These, again, are by Re8. The lock is right here on the handle. It locks it closed when the blade is in, and it also locks it when the blade is out. So you push it back to unlock it. It opens up just like the original. Blade falls out, close it, lock it back, and it's not gonna go anywhere. It's, I mean, it's virtually a fixed blade at that point. Um, so this is a fantastic and a very sturdy, sturdy platform right there. Again, it's got the pocket clip, and I really dig that. I didn't think I would um, because I've grown to love my Re8 XOs that I've got so far. 
CPM 3V on the blade steel. Now this is the dagger blade. This one is going to be restricted. So if you're not allowed to own dagger blades, um, you're not going to be able to have this one because this one is double edged. Um, it's got an edge on both sides. CPM 3V again on the blade steel. This is the black micarta version, black linen micarta. And um, we're going to go ahead and measure that blade length right there. These are coming in uh, and their advertised length is just under three inches. Now this is one of those examples you can see right here on the screen. They advertise this one is coming in at 2.96 or 2.98 inches. Um, that's measuring it right to that sharpening choil right there. Puts it right at 2.9 inches long. And that's going to be the case on all of these. So all of these are going to be 2.9 inches. That's the dagger blade. Then we've also got the drop point blade right there. We're going to take a look at that one up close. Absolutely beautiful work. I, I think these are gorgeous and gorgeous knives. And I love the choice of 3V on the blade steel. I think that's a fantastic option. Originally, they came with LMAX. Um, these are coming in with 3V and really dig that. And then we've also got the Tonto version right there. Now, I'm going to say it's difficult for me to choose which one my favorite is because um, I've, uh, I've got the Tonto uh, in the original. I've got the drop point in the original, and I've got the dagger blade. I like all of them. Um, but I think I like the dagger blade a little bit better in these. Now, we've got them in the black micarta. We've also got them in the natural micarta right there, which I think is super classy. And we've got them in the brown burlap micarta as well. Again, all three blade shapes, they're all going to be the same finish right there. So that stone wash finish um, and just beautiful knives. Again, coming in at 285. Folks, let us know in the comments down below what you think about these. If you're really excited about the pocket clip and the lock, if you like that a little bit better, again, I'm going to, I will completely admit, I was not all about it when I heard that they were changing that and that they were making these with a lock and with a pocket clip because I've grown to love my Re8XOs just the way that they are. However, these are also a little bit smaller. So that's why we went over the specs on that. Um, so let's go ahead and measure the closed length on this. Closed length coming in right at four and a half inches. So four and a half inches closed, 2.9 inches on the blade length. That's to the sharpening choil. And these are coming in just over, right at seven and three quarters inches uh, open. So right at seven and three quarters inches open. Um, and you can see right there, it fits in the hand, nice full hand grip and uh, locks and unlocks nice and easy right there. You don't have to worry about it. So these are gonna make it really easy to carry. And I gotta say, I do like the size of these. Um, I like the pocket clip. I like the lock. I have to say, I am a changed man. So let us know what you think about all these in the comments down below, folks. As always, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And remember, if it cuts, like all these new knives, and this still cuts, cuts wood, then we carry it. Yeah!